Hey Starborn, welcome to another episode of the Lunicast. I've been cruising around this old abandoned moon port for hours. Based on my translation of the encrypted message, there should be something here. But my toes are nearly frozen in my surface boots. Even though I'm packed inside this rented lunar hopper, I really don't know how much further I can go into the Aiken Basin. This area of the park which was abandoned years ago, and honestly, for good reason. I haven't seen another soul all day after waking up and leaving my surprisingly comfortable lodgings at the Earth Rising Orbital Motel. Which, by the way, I highly recommend if you're looking for a cheap, clean place to sleep on your next lunar stay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually, I think I sounded like a commercial and an ad for the Earth Rising Orbital Motel. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just being honest with you. The Globots there make the best interplanetary breakfast in the entire solar system. So, take it as you may. I do have to admit, though, I am so close to giving up for the day. I'm not even sure that I'm in the right place to begin with. The clue could be anywhere in this giant basin. I've been sitting here in the hopper, racking my brain for clues that Salida may have left behind in her articles. As far as I can tell, she never published anything on the Aiken Basin specifically. I know she visited this moon port at one point, but I'm just trying to remember what she was going through at the time. Hold on. Wait. Wait, I think I see footprints over a ledge that I must have missed on my first pass around the rim. I'd bet a decent amount of stardust that they'll lead me to something, but I'll check back in with you guys after. Wish me luck. Woo! Well, that was a harrowing experience. Between you and me, if the other nine phases of the treasure hunt are anything like this one, I don't think I'm going to make it through. I just wish I had more time to train for this, but... I guess that's the point Salida was trying to make. Adventure waits for no one. Well, she doesn't sound like that, but you know what I mean. This treasure hunt is going to take all of my mental and physical strength. But I finally found the clue hidden at the end of this impossibly narrow tunnel under the ledge I was telling you guys about. It took over two hours of shimming on my hands and knees to get to the end. I was convinced the tunnel was going to collapse on me the entire time. It was an extremely tight and claustrophobic experience, even with my exposure suit on. I could feel the sides scraping along the narrowest sections. Thank Jupiter that nothing was damaged. The code was enclosed in a small metal case that was completely camouflaged by moon dust. It took me a couple of attempts, but I finally inputted the correct passcode on the case's lock. The DNS coordinates for Buenos Aires. That's the city that Salida was born in. Inside, I scanned my first po up and the next clue. Check it out in my wallet. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm going back to the motel and get some rest before taking a crack at this next clue. This is Luna Lightspeed, signing off from outside the biosphere. Later, tardigrades! <laughs>